Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this year's edition of the KDF Air Show. The last time this air show was held was more than 20 years ago, and today it has attracted a massive, massive crowd. The Kenya Defense Forces, in conjunction with the Aero Club of East Africa, held an exciting air museum festival on the 28th of May in 2022 at the Uhuru Gardens in Nairobi. The air show was led by Kenya Air Force and showed displays by both military and civilian aerobatic capabilities aimed at engaging and entertaining the public. Phoenix Aviation says the sovereign. Wow. It's good. Kenyans turned up in large numbers and were not disappointed. The paratroopers dropped from the skies displaying a variety of colors. With all eyes fixed to the skies, the spectators were amazed by the paratroopers of the Kenya Air Force. The paratroopers displayed rescue skills that are usually undertaken during military rescue operations. The national carrier, Kenya Airways 2, had a fly past. On display was the Embraer 190 flying at a very low altitude. Local air operators too had something to display. They included Phoenix Aviation and Skyward Express among others and displayed a wide variety of aircraft. Our last fly past in the civilian category is going to be one pass only, a dash eight operated by Skyward Express. There was also a firefighting display by Tropic Air. Just to tell you that Tropic Air Limited was established in 1990 and has its base of operations at the Nyanyuki Civil Airfield in Kenya. The company operates fixed wing and helicopter charter services and is also one of the country's leading aviation maintenance providers. Today, Captain Andy Payne demonstrates firefighting operations using what is called a Bambi bucket system. Tropic Air are demonstrating one of their Airbus H-125 helicopters for us today. The H-125 outclasses all other single-engine helicopters for performance, versatility and low maintenance costs. The Kenya Air Force fighter jets were on display too, catching spectators by surprise. One of the amazing displays was by the Kenya Air Force Puma helicopters. Hanging in the air and displaying their rescue operations. Being their first time to watch helicopters at close range, the spectators were amazed and were left yearning for more. Yes. The ultimate showstopper was displaced by the marksman from South Africa. Yes. 
led by Mark Heinzmann, the marksmen were proudly referred to as Mark and his men. Their air maneuvers were out of this world. For the marksmen, love was in the air. Their displays were simply breathtaking. On a sad note, Mark Simpson, one of the marksmen, died in an air incident in Zimbabwe a few days after this show. This is the maneuver he was trying to pull when his plane failed to peak altitude and crashed. We've come to the end of this exciting show, and to say the least, the marksmen from South Africa have stalled the show. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Bonventure, and this is Moving Pictures Kenya, telling stories that inspire Africa.